So, I mean, again, that was one of the reasons I actually uh, signed up uh, with with Chris and Jonathan and Eric on this is the fact that like it's their ethics, their their approach to monetization within with Path of Exile is is just excellent, and you know they intend to to follow that through with with mobile as well. So. All right. Um, I have not played this at all yet. I haven't even played 2.0 yet or Path of Exile 2 yet. So this is all brand new to me, which I thought would be perfect for the authentic experience. So I understand that the kind of the whole idea of this is that it's all maps, right? Uh, yeah, that's uh, uh, we've had quite a few discussions about this, yeah. about the potential of having um, uh, some acts at the start of it. Um, but the general kind of consensus was um, Atlas and Maps is a logical kind of location for us to to base a mobile experience around because obviously you know you can actually kind of churn through the maps, yeah. and we've also got the Atlas for progression mapping as well. So uh, it, it just kind of fit really cleanly with mobile. So yeah, I mean that makes a lot of sense in a way. Like it's content that, well, we do in like 30 seconds to three minutes maybe a lot of the time, depending on your clear speed. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's, uh, I mean, that's perfect length for a time for a, uh, a mobile game. So do I, um, how do I open my inventory and do things? Is, there's a button here. It's a bag. Oh, I've, look, it just works. So it's almost like it's designed intuitively. Whoa. <laughs> I, I kind of want to ask, like, don't even want to ask you how to do stuff and see if I can just figure it out. So like, that's actually how I'd like to approach this. Yeah, OK. I've got the inventory. Can... It's got the new skill system. It looks a bit different to what we've seen for Path of Exile 2. I will say that the, the, the four skills there, it's kind of mapping your actual action buttons that you'll see when you actually get into combat. Ah, OK. I, I see some arc. I see some orb of storms. OK, OK, OK. And we've got some inventory action there. Stat page. Character, nice. Okay, do I have uh, do I have any maps on me? Do I need some maps? Is that a thing? I'm gonna let you find out. Okay, yeah, I'm all right. You figure this so out. you're gonna be no help this whole time. All right, no, sweet. no, I'm just good gonna sit here, maybe answer know, the mate. odd question, but. Oh, here we go. We got a, we got a map here. Okay, I see some highlighted. Oh, I can click on them. Oh, and I just have it. There's like a map. You've got a separate map inventory, so you don't we have, have to separate, manage it in exactly. your inventory. Yeah. Oh, I see what's going on here. Do I just drag this in? Oh, it works. Okay, it it, it works. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, this looks planned. This looks scripted. <laughs> it's been too easy so far. This is 100% this is scripted content, by the way. All right. So I don't see a clicky button, but I'm going to assume you can tap the thing on screen. All right. That works. You've... All right. OK. We've been working on this a while. Oh, I, yeah, I see what you're going on here. Did you, uh, like, to figure this stuff out, did you kind of, like, get some people who have never even played PoE to kind of, like, have a play around with it? or? I mean, obviously, we've been kind of, as well as PC, we've been developing console. Yeah. Um, so, like, uh, we, 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 we used to sort of develop in cross-platform and, I mean, obviously we kind of reviewed other products and kind of analysed and, and we've had a lot of iterative design within the studio, so... Hey, we've got Zana in the map here. I suppose I should have a quick chat, but I'm just going to skip the text. All right. She's looking good, though. She's looking good. So this is a bit of a hybrid blend between 2.0 and uh, old Path of Exile 2, not 2.0. And uh, what we're uh, going to be seeing, kind of 3.9-ish. Like, we've got the new yeah, skill system. Yeah. It looks like new character models. Um, yeah, we're using the, the 4.0 character models, so. Yeah, OK. So, and I guess the idea is because this probably won't release for a while. So it's kind of the idea is this is, will be up to date by the time it does come out. Yeah, yeah. Like, what you're playing here is like our, our pre-production build. Like, yeah, we, we're proving the engine tech and everything. So, but we felt it was strong enough to actually bring to Exocon and, and like let people have a go, like see what they think, and also get to f get some feedback. I get murdered like, here. To people, so. um, I noticed you haven't taken cannot die packs out, and uh, well, I might I might struggle a little here. Yep. It's all right. I got it. I got it. I got it under control. See, I'm all right. So I'm, I'm going to give you a tip now, pro yeah, tip. Yeah. yeah. So once you cleared this a little bit, so if you tap and hold anywhere on the screen, you'll bring up a D-pad control for another set of skills. What? Okay, like here. So yep. Yeah. Oh, whoa, what's so this? So what that allows you to do, obviously you've got auras and stuff, um, but you've also kind of you can actually you don't have to have the UIP. You can actually just do a swipe. So when you're under pressure and in combat, you can just do like your summons and stuff like that, just okay. by swiping, by like, targeting on the screen. So. Yeah, so if you swipe down real quick. Oh, I got like skellies and stuff. So, you, okay, you can just kind of do like a, a touch and drag. Yeah, yeah, totally. Just that. kind of quick swipes. And like, you yeah, know, this, this is kind of part of the kind of design cycle that we've had. We've kind of tried to innovate and, and try different ideas um, in, in the game, so. 
All right, I'm going to smash through this map and find the boss. Where do, where do we have? Do we have a mini map? Because I can't. Oh, it's up here. Oh, there we go. Overlay map. Sick. We do. Right, I'm figure. I, I like ask you these things, but I figure, <laughs> I'll figure them out. I don't, you can you can go if you want. I just I'll figure it out. Um, yeah. Hopefully you'll be here for some time playing this. <laughs> no, that, that's the idea. So, um, you, where did you arrive at on the like the structure of the game overall? If you can, because you said this character's level 30, right? And, uh, so yeah, this mass. is purely for Exocon demonstration. Like, right. It's kind of we, we thought we'd kind of uh, start off level 30, few skills, so you could kind of experience it. And because it's it's only a short demo, like uh, it's enough for for this. But uh, we just thought we'd kind of you know, give you a bit of fun to to have a play around with. Oh, so I can't see like the new end of Atlas bosses in this demo. No. Okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, if I if, if my first kill of some of the new final bosses was on mobile, I think that'd be that'd be something. So, all right, here we go. Here's a test. How do we interact with a, a strong box? Don't tell me. I'm going to try. No, I'm going to see I'm, how I'm, it goes. Yeah. I'm, 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 this is a test. I'm testing you here. Yeah. This, is, this is your like final exam. All right, hold on. Let me kill this stuff. All right, we're doing it safe. If I if I click and hold on the strong box, no, that's for my skills. Yeah. I'll just tap the strong. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Little mini menu. All right. So I got crafting. I'm going to throw an alk on it. Sure. Why not? Do I, do I drag it over? Yeah, you do. Oh, I see. I did it wrong. Okay. And now it's a freeze detonate dead. That's, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. That's great. <laughs> and now... And then, uh, then as you open it, is you tap on the middle. All right, but here's the so. test, though. I'm going to try and do something fancy. So I'm going to try right. and activate it. And I, there's the open button in the middle, so I guess I press that. But if I tap that... Oh, wait, what about if I try and... Oh, I'm going to test you here. What if I press my lightning warp first before doing it? And then... You no, can't. it's not going to work, yeah. is it? I, I've found, I found, there you go. Oh, wait, wait, it was going to work. work. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm breaking, hold on, I'm breaking it. Yeah, you ready? you're totally breaking it. Hold on. Oh, no, where'd it go? Oh, I had it for a second there. There's a way to do this, I bet. I'm trying to do some, like, advanced gameplay tactics here. It's not going to work, though. All right, well, I'm disappointed. This whole game's a failure. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Let's die. Yes, hold on. All right. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, I knew that yeah. was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Thank you. Thank you. I got some applause. All right. I'm going to resurrect the checkpoint. So right, we're playing soft core. Are you uh, going to have leagues and so, things like that, do you think? Oh, yeah. What's going so on So what we've got here is part of our co kind of core loop experience that we kind of tried to build into mobile. So it's kind of when you actually get maps, it automatically puts them into your atlas, so you kind of have track of where the, what maps you've got oh, for each so of the nodes. So the drop was uh, is already added here. Yeah, so when you come got, back, I've it gets two. added to here. Yeah. I've got two icebergs. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but uh, did I fail, or is this portals around the no, map that, here? No, that's, that's active, so oh, if you come out of that... There's portals remaining. Yeah. Oh, how do I go in there, then? So if you actually come out of that... Oh, oh, okay. Then you can just use the portals. Ah, so it was like showing me my progress yeah, progression yeah. that I'd made in so, that. So part of the core loop that we've actually built into this is um, uh, when you return, if you've leveled up during the, the, the actual map, then it actually has a level up screen showing you that, and also your skill gems, they auto level up, but it shows okay. you what you've kind of um, leveled up during the map. So you're like deferring that a little bit so that it's not interrupting you in the gameplay. Exactly, yeah. Because that's yeah. like the biggest thing that I find with like playing the console versions, for example, is I'm, as a PC part of Exile player, I uh, am very used to doing a lot of inventory management in the thick of, con in the thick of combat. So is, is the idea that a lot of that stuff will happen in between maps? Uh, I mean, like, you know, the functionality is there for you to do it any time you want. Yeah, but, like, but it's like if I open my inventory, yeah. I'm going to get murdered. Yeah. It's not going to pause the game for me, is it? Um, it doesn't pause the game, <laughs> no. but we do give feedback so that like, you obviously you get like, uh, kind of impact. I like, get some like, vibrations or something? No vibrations in it, but we have visuals. So. Okay. Oh, like a little screen but will flash red or something? we'll have vibrations. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah that's good. If my phone starts freaking out, I'm like, ah, I'm dying. Sounds like a good idea. So, uh, yeah, but the kind of like with the deferring the level up screen to in between maps. So, like, it appears automatically when you finish the map and you're back in safety. Yeah. Okay. That, that's the kind of got idea behind it. That makes sense. Do we, um, do we have like, things like hideout and town and stuff like that? Or is, or is the idea kind of like your base of operations is this room with Zana? We actually haven't decided that yet. Okay, like, still we're, figuring it out. Yeah, yeah, we're still figuring it out. Like, the, the idea was that like, we just wanted to create this kind of core loop experience in the Atlas and uh, in the sort of Templar lab from, and, and work it out from there. Because yeah, really, we want to get the feedback from the players from this. That's what I was going to so. talk to you about. It seems like... Because, uh, so, all right. So I, I knew, this was the one thing I knew about 
before I didn't know anything about 2.0 or two, Path of Exile 2, it keeps getting me, uh, any of the spoilers or anything, but I did know that there was going to be a PoE Mobile. I knew that because Chris was like, I'm not going to make you agree to sit down and play the game on, on stage unless you're like comfortable with it. So I was like, I have to tell you what it is. And uh, I'm like, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, I knew about this ahead of time, but uh, yeah, I wasn't... Uh, Oh, I totally lost my train of thought now. That's all right. I'll just I'll just place the path of exile. It's fine. Yeah, good. I don't need to think. I just need to murder it's and loot. It's good that it's distracting. Yeah, I'm distracted. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very totally. distracted right now. Um, have you uh, thought about toilet playability? Um, I mean, where like it's mobile. Yeah. If I need to like pour, if I need to put it down for a second, I'm just going to get murdered. Yeah. Um, portal out. How do I? How do, oh, there's a portal button. Yeah. There oh, you that's go. That's pretty. That's pretty easy. Automatic. I don't have to open my inventory. That's very handy for if I need to, you know, focus yeah, yeah. on something else for a second. Perfect. And yes, I did ask that. I know, pretty heinous. I'm, like, doing all right with the picking up, but I, when I try and type text messages, I always press the wrong buttons on that. So I noticed I'm doing that a little bit with this. Um, I don't know if you can, like, change the size of these or yeah, anything yeah, like we, that. Yeah, we have actually experimented with, like, size of the pickups. So I think it's something that we can, yeah, we'll, we'll perfect for sure. So. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was, was going to ask is the... Uh, I got the, the whole point of my earlier train of thought was like, um, I got the impression from Chris when he was first telling me about this is that they, you, you guys are not like fully sure where you want to take this and that you're really open to the feedback for that. So uh, how, how do you want to get that feedback? Should people just spam you, your email? Are you going to say your email live <laughs> on stream no, right no, now? No, no emails. <laughs> I, I try to avoid emails. Um, <laughs> yeah, the usual platforms. It's like, you know. Kind of Reddit feedback. Know, stuff, yeah, so. angry Reddit threads, yeah, right? Exactly, that's the yeah, classic. Yeah, okay, totally. angry Reddit threads. There that's, you go. that's where they go. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do a boss. Hold on, I need to concentrate. I'm going to get murdered. No, no, I, 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 no, this is fine. This is fine. I got this. I've noticed you haven't used the potions much. So. Uh, I haven't had to. Yeah, okay. You know, I'm like too yeah. good. I'm too good. I haven't been running out too easy. I don't know if I had... I think I was supposed to have auras, but I died and I didn't turn my auras back on. I bet, I bet Twitch chat is, like, freaking out about that fact. But, I mean, that's not a mobile-specific problem. That's... I do that on PC as well, so... Good to know that the game is an authentic and true experience of me not turning my auras on. But I'm going to do it in the combat here. Oh, well, yep, no, this is fine. This is fine. That, that, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> that was, uh, that was not, not your fault. I saw a resurrect in town option there, so can, can I currently go to town? Uh, at the moment, no. Okay, so, all right, yeah. fair enough. I won't go exploring. We just locked then. in. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> did open a portal earlier, at least. I got this. Look, one map, three deaths. I'm doing all right. This is fine. I didn't turn my auras on again. You gave me a skill I didn't have to aim. That's nice, but I'm going to maybe play around a little bit. Potion? Yep, I'm good. I'm good. This is fine. All right, I'm going to pick up some... Sorry, if I grab this iceberg, it's just going to add to my thing automatically, right? All right. Oh, sweet. Easy. Yeah, so when you come back, it should actually it's, uh, show a bit of a transition, ooh. show the completion, show the new map. Nice. And you're good to go. What's the uh, bonus objectives thing? It doesn't do anything. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Oh, secrets. Secrets. Okay, all right. What about this? What about this? Cosmetics? Uh, cosmetics, yeah. Up in the top right? Oh, you guys can't see that. It's behind yeah. me. There's we haven't actually worried too much about that just yet. We really yeah, just want to, like, nail the gameplay. It's great it doesn't work right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. But I, um, my understanding is that it's going to have the same monetization model as Path of Exile. Yeah, exactly. Just cosmetics. And yeah, yeah. That's, that's well, the plan. I mean, I don't know if there's, like, stash tabs or something. Like, you have a different inventory system. I don't know if there's, like, a stash. So there something. is a stash? There is a stash. Okay. So the plan for this is, like, this will obviously be the, your main kind of stash area, but... If you go into your inventory, we've actually got some smart sash interactions as well. Oh, okay. So, Let me have a look at that. So if you go in here, if you hit these tabs on the side... Okay. What's this, what's this all do? So it oh, allows you to basically just, interact with the stash within the menu. So um, That's advanced. Can I have that on PC? So, <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of nice. You, what's, you have to post on Reddit. Oh, so I can <laughs> post it. So hold on. This is a currency... Inventory tab? Yep, you've just found the currency inventory tab. This is a currency inventory tab. Yeah. It's separate to my skills and is. items and things like that. Yeah. Amazing. And it automatically uses my portal scrolls. Yep. What about my ID scrolls? Do I have to like drag them or? Yeah. You can. Is there another way though? You drag them over. The same. Oh, that makes That's sense, it. I suppose. It's fine. Tick. Nice. So you tap and hold and brings up the info. Oh, tap and hold? Okay, yep. all right. And uh, I don't really know how to work the new skill system yet exactly, but looks good, you know? What's my gear like? 
Oh, my gear's trash. Hold on, what? You guys gave me crap gear. Yep. What's this? <laughs> All right, I don't know if this is going to screw my skills if I do this. It might. Oh, no, I don't have enough... Uh, what, I got inf in intelligence on here? Oh, okay, all right, you've made, you've made my character <laughs> stat dependent on my chest armor. Very nice planning. Forward planning, I appreciate that. Now, this gear is trash. What, do you, what have you given me here? I suppose I should identify some gear then and up, do some upgrades real quick. That's pretty much what we we're hoping. So yeah. You want to feel like you're progressing even yeah. in the short-term demo. So. I, th yeah, this is what you can play on the uh, show floor, right? So, yeah, totally. So people are going to have a chance to actually play around, get some upgrades. Um, the blue ones are actually not bad. That's not going to be an upgrade for me. So, but uh, I, gu I guess I'll just rock my trash gear. I guess that's why I'm. Ge See, it's not my fault that I was getting murdered in that map. That's the the crap gear, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we knew we were doing this. We wanted to punish you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fair. All right. So uh, do we have, is this Atlas layout kind of, um, I mean, it's probably going to change before launch. It's, it's totally for the demo. Yeah, so, okay, all right. Yeah. So uh, I guess I only have iceberg maps, correct? I don't have any of yes, these ones. Yeah, because we've we got the three symbol next to there. And uh, if I want to, say, craft one of these, can I do it here or do I have to go to the inventory? Well, let's see if you, what happens when you drag one over there. Oh, right, okay. Oh, I, was I thought I was going to stump you for a second there and have like a suggestion, be like, oh, you should really be able to craft this in here. Yeah, we, we, you should, yeah, definitely. <laughs> but no, you got it, you got it. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm going to alk the map. Here we go. This is going to be good. It's fine, that's fine. Oh, I won't put any skeletons down, it's chain map. Activate, let's go. All right, I don't know, we've, we've, we've got five minutes. I'm, I'm going to speed oh, right. it. Is there, a, uh, is there anything I've missed, like secret things? Because I keep discovering new things, like your know, like little inventory secrets I'll have a think while you're stuff. playing and see if I can. Yeah, okay, all right, I'll smash it for now then. Um, one thing uh, on the actual kind of potion bar, it's like a potion belt. You can actually pull it out and actually trigger individual potions. Uh, or you can tap on the end and actually brings out the whole bar of potions. Wait, 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 what? I'm going to need a second to digest that. Hold up. I'm fighting a rogue exile here, so... And yeah. I'm trying to... Whoa! Lots of loot. We need a better loot filter. Loot, fil yeah. uh, loot filters? Yeah, they're on the cards. Yeah, they're on the cards? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. That's impressive. All right, this guy's a little bit gnarly. This map's a little harder. What have you got me into here? Ah, 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 ah. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm fine. Look, I'm, uh, I don't play a lot of mobile games, so... <laughs> But I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right here. This is, uh, this is working pretty well. I was expecting to be able to be a little harsher. I'm you enjoying it? Disappointing. Am I, am I enjoying uh, it? You, yeah, it's a dangerous question to ask, maybe. But. I am enjoying it, actually. It's yeah. pretty good. good. Yeah, the, like, moving around and the skill usage and stuff all feels pretty smooth. Like, it's very, it feels very similar to playing, like, a console version, just with the only, like, drawback being the inherent drawback in mobile gaming, which is you don't have very much tactile feedback on using buttons, yeah, which yeah. I think is super important to gaming. It's the big, it's the thing that I enjoy least about mobile gaming. And uh, I mean, there's, you guys don't have any way around that, but maybe in the future they develop phones that have a bit more tactile feedback or something, I don't know. But uh, you know, that being said, it still seems to control and maneuver very well. How do I hide my loot if I'm like in a situation like this and I can't see anything? Yeah, but we're working on that. You're working on that? Yeah, we're All working right. on that. I need, I need a Z button. I mean, just a little, little sneaky button down here or something. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's uh, picking up loot. It's very easy when it's like post combat. In combat, it's a little trickier. So uh, yeah, yeah. something you're like thinking about we've at all? We kind of because obviously it's touchscreen. We've allowed you to actually pick up anywhere on screen as well. So it's just kind of oh. that natural flow as you come. Okay, hold on. Just... Let me let me test this theory. So that crude bar. I'm gonna get it from the edge of the screen. Ready? Oh! Hey, check that out. Very nicely done. Okay. <laughs> Can uh, I also have that on PC? I don't know how much you can bring back from mobile to PC, but I know the uh, console development actually ended up feeding into PC with a few advancements, like tech advancements and things like that, and ended up helping the PC version, so. Yeah, I mean, like, the tech advancements that we're kind of, well, basically the technology that we need to, to um, for mobile is obviously we need to optimize the assets quite a lot, and we're actually looking at kind of engine optimizations as well that will actually feed into all of our products, so. It's like you know, there are huge benefits of actually making a mobile game, like just for the studio and the technology in the studio. So. Yeah, you get to explore a lot more there. I was just testing the ability to like kite and shoot at something. I'm not like aiming. It's uh, it's using, I believe, the same tech that the console version uses to like Pretty much, aim yeah. prioritization yeah, yeah. towards. It was targeting the rare with my fireballs. Yeah. 
So that works quite nicely. It means you can uh, stutter step around quite effectively um, just by kind of like holding in a direction you want to run and tapping when you want to fire your fireballs. That seems to work quite nicely. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, pretty, uh, I'm pretty impressed. We, I'm getting the wrap it up. So uh, I'm going to... Whoa, get murdered. One more death. One more death before we go. <laughs> was that a martyr? It was a martyr. Yeah. I was like, I bet this one ghost I see is a martyr. <laughs> That's so good.